Since morning friends, we have been having a good insight of the activities, happenings in the pulp and paper industries, whether it is reduction in the energy, whether it is a kind of a raw material scarcity. You know, these are the challenges, sustainability on the top and not the least, you know, water conservation initiatives in pulp and paper industry. So, it's a new topic, decarbonization and ESG, which is a kind of a jargon, which frankly speaking, 10 years back, none of us was aware of. What is decarbonization? What is greenhouse emission? I think last 2015 when Paris Agreement came, then we start understanding the impact of greenhouse emission. We have never realized what is the global warming and its impact on the climate change. As regards to, you know, our all technical experts in the morning have talked high about the, you know, kind of a CO2, you know, how we can reduce the CO2 emission and absorb the carbon. So, our role as a pulp and paper industries, you know, as a technical experts, we all need to very well focus. Dr. Ashok Kumar and other colleagues have very well talked about the plantation activities. I think Mr. A.S. Mehta has very well spoken. The kind of activities, you know, 40,000 acres every year is a big challenge and a big target. You know, plantation is the need of our, not only for the, you know, to absorb the CO2. You know, one tree can absorb two tons of CO2. I think everyone is well aware of this fact. So plantation is the need of our, but in India there has been a lot of challenges. Even the barren lands available, we are struggling to you know promote the, our, all the farmers in terms of the agroforestry, in terms of the you know multi-cropping kind of a concept. So I would only say being carbon positive alone may not you know kind of a divide us from our responsibility. We need to be more responsible in terms of taking care of the environment. Solar panels are preferably, you know, for on a ground level, it requires one megawatt requires almost five acres of a land. So it's better that rooftop panels, you know, people are, you know, European standards, they are also, you know, there is a lot of, you know, technological development of the, you know, covering the seas, you know, water channels with the solar roof panels, only floating kind of a channels. So a lot of things are happening in terms of the solar power, where the water comes from. Water is already, you know, most of the countries, you know, water table is depleting so fast that we still not aware of that. Frankly speaking, I think we don't even understand today also the importance of water. We just, you know, do the brushing in the morning, do the shaving, we take bath. You know, one bucket of water is so critical in the time to come. South Africa, Cape Town, there is no water. Even if you have to pay also, you will not get DM, DM water available nearby the small towns. It's all water is, you know, Chennai, I think recently we have faced a big challenge, you know, though the rainfall has happened, so we could say it ourselves, but all across India, you know, water table is depleting, so we need to be very much, you know, uh, concerned about the each and every drop of water time to come. Paper industry is a kind of a, we always say that we are in the red category, but uh, the recent developments in terms of the energy reduction and water conservation has been a uh, huge and, you know, quite praiseworthy. There is a wrong myth of about the pulp and paper industry that you know pulp and paper industry cut trees. We don't cut any trees. Actually, pulp and paper industry is promoting agroforestry. We sell clonal sampling to the farmers. We promote agroforestry amongst our local community. The need of our is Mr. Mehta was saying that 40,000 acres, when he say 40,000 acres around per year means, you know, we need to go for a colonial nursery sampling center at our mills. But point is like, you know, various states, if I talk of MP, you know, there is ample space, there is a barren land, but only thing is government now, they have to, you know, get aligned to our understanding, support the pulmonary industries, you know, to, you know, provide the land free of cost or maybe at a lower cost, minimum cost so that, you know, we can ask our good friend farmers. 
so when we say uh, recycling you know in any case i think all well understand that recycling of the paper you know in terms of the emission will be the minimum and the even the water consumption in terms of the recycling of the waste is only 70 percent of the uh, if we use the kind of a virgin fiber so in any case this is also kind of a uh, need of our where we can need to focus frankly speaking including me ESG is again a kind of a new jargon which has come but definitely it is very important for us to understand you know when we say ESG it stands for environmental social and governance referred to the three key factors when measuring the sustainability and ethical impact of an investment of a business you know normally capital market all the investors first of all they will analyze the performance and the financial performance of the company through the ESG criteria so when we say it is a kind of a generic term used in the capital market and commonly all investors are evaluating your performance based on the ESG criteria and we need to you know upgrade ourselves and align ourselves for the compliance environmental criteria which examines how a business perform as a steward of a natural environment special focus on the crep is uh, i think is a jargon of 2004 when we were you know studying this scrap norm has come into picture out of that part of the ncg limekin came into that so it's not new you know but point is at that time we have not felt importance of that but definitely for paper industry biggest challenge is the sustainability when we talk of a sustainability means solid air and liquid discharge more density and structure so these are the you know kind of a need of our which you can no one can escape from this so esg is kind of a uh, jargon we, we can say but we have to live with this we have to comply and we have to get aligned to the government laws